The exact source of the COVID-19 coronavirus, which has much of the world under lockdown, isn't entirely known. The culprit has been named as one of China's infamous wet markets. Now, I'm going to post some videos below of wet markets, and you will see that not only is it filthy, uh, but staggeringly cruel. And I think we need to condemn these from the rooftops at every opportunity from now on, because threats of shouting racist at me isn't going to work. The world has awoken to these, and the world has awoken to China and to the nature of the Chinese government. And the Chinese government is not pleasant. This is the stuff of nightmares. The Communist Party of China covered this up. It could have stopped this. It could have acted. It suppressed medical people. It punished uh, those who spoke out. And indeed, I read today that a, a doctor who spoke out early has disappeared. The Chinese state is not a pleasant thing. And their manufacturing dominance, their manufacturing dominance must must be challenged and brought to an end. It seems like every second product you see is made in China. And meanwhile, manufacturing has completely disappeared from the UK. Let's bring it back. We have far too much dependency on China. And when this crisis is over, and it will be soon, we need new thinking, new attitudes and new approaches to China. First of all, as I said, priority number one, we need legislative policy to bring manufacturing home. Second thing we need to do is speak openly and honestly about the cruelty of the Chinese state. That's cruelty to human beings and indeed to animals. It's, uh, it's suppression, it's oppression. It's, we, we should, of course, we don't expect the United Nations to say anything about it. It's too busy defending any criticisms of China and, and, and batting them away as if they sig signify hate and racism, the usual rubbish. I am personally going to make an effort now not to buy anything from China. And I'd ask other people to do the same. I know that won't be easy because... So much, so much, including healthcare products, so much of it are being produced in China. And China's making quite a handsome penny out of this coronavirus panic as well. It is really quite a kick in the gut. But regardless of where this disease came from, whether it came from the wet market or not, and I'm going to link you below to a video from Tucker Carlson. In it, he mentions the... A, a paper, a scientific paper from a Chinese university, which suggested that the virus had actually come from a research facility in Wuhan and not from a wet market. There's no suggestion that this is deliberate, but that it escaped from a research facility. Uh, the This paper has since disappeared. Uh, we know that the Chinese state is still silencing people. And we also know that these notorious wet markets are back in action, back to normal. Nothing at all has changed. They're still selling bats, which is believed to be the uh, intermediate uh, for this virus. Still have uh, dogs and cats in horrific cages. So whether, but whether or not, whether or not, this came from a wet market or a research facility. It's time to start looking at China, looking at this government, looking at who they are and what they do and what their influence is on the world. I'm worried about their influence on the world. I don't particularly like how the Chinese state operates and I don't particularly want to see it dominating the world. Its manufacturing has got, therefore, to be pushed Back and we can all make an extra effort with this. We can all look out for products that are not from China. Better yet, look out for products that are for, from Britain. But speaking of which, I link below to our shop, the For Britain shop, fantastic new uh, range of products in, and you'll find that none of them are made in China. Do have a look, buy British, support ourselves,
Let's campaign and work towards policy that brings manufacturing back to Britain. And let's, for the sake of decency, let's condemn the actions of the Chinese government and let's ourselves make our small little uh, make our small contribution to pushing back their manufacturing dominance by boycotting China. <laughs>